Hi, it's me again. So part three of me getting ready to go out. I'm just going to do my eyes and just show you what I use. So I'm going to start off with my favourite black and white pencil. And um, yeah, I use a white pencil as a highlighter for your inner eye. I don't really do my waterline so I don't like putting it too close. And I'm just going to do one eye instead of doing both just to show you a comparison. So here's the, the white. And then... These pencils are so soft. So, so soft on your eye. And the colour is really bold as well and it will stay all night. For me that's probably enough. And then I'm just going to use my two favourite colours at the moment. Which are, um, these are the mineral eye pigments. This one's called Sexy and this one is called Confident. A sort of pinky and a brown shade. We'll start off with a light one. So I'm just going to tap some into the lid. Go. You don't need much and there's so much in these tiny little pots. And then I'm just going to use my deluxe brush and with the powder dry I'm just going to dust the whole eye area. And I like to go right in here because it's like highlight the inside of your eye. It just gives a nice light sort of shimmer. Now what I'm going to do is mix it with some rose water. So I've just got my rose water and I'm just going to squirt some into this little lid. Enough just to wet the brush slightly, um, and I'll actually show you the sort of comparison. So, I don't know if you can see this on my hand, so it, there's the dry powder. I should have done it with a darker colour, and then mixed with the rose water. You can see there that's the dry powder, and then when you mix it with the rose water you get this sort of metallic sheen which is just lovely so I'm going to just use that across my eye and then I'm going to get a different brush I'm going to use Confident. This is a sort of lighter brown than Daring and it's got a nice gold shimmer. I just love it. So I'm just going to use this powder dry. Just using my crease brush now. And you can see the sort of a nice gold finish. And then a little bit more of the sexy just to blend it in. So just using a little more of the light colour. And that's my favourite everyday sort of shades. And then I'm just going to go and stick on some of the unique Moodstruck 3D Fibre Lashes. So as I've done a demo before, you've got your transplant and gel and your natural fibres. Start off with the gel. And 
and just make sure you apply a really good coat to all the lashes. And then while that's wet, you just take your fibres and just brush them on in the middle of the lash onwards. And then another coat of the gel just to seal them in. It is really easy to put on. The first time you might, you know, try to remember which is which, but once you put it on a couple of times, it goes on so easily. I'd be surprised if you couldn't do it. Right, I'm just gonna stick another coat on while we're here, because I am going out tonight. So we want big lashes. I mean, for mascara, this stuff's pretty amazing. I'm just going to put one last coat of gel on to seal it in. And you'll notice I've not even had to brush on this time, it's gone on pretty straightforward. <laughs> 